This video is a simple guide to making your digital story in WeVideo, an online video editing program. We will show you how to put your voiceover and images into WeVideo, arrange them to create a video, and add a few simple effects. If you've been working on a smartphone, you'll need to switch to a computer or larger mobile device to use WeVideo. Click the button in the top left corner of the screen to view the main menu. Here, you'll find the Save button. Make sure to save as you go so that you don't lose your work. You'll also find the Help button with access to WeVideo's help videos. You can also switch the screen between Storyboard mode, which is very simple, and Timeline mode, where you can play multiple audio, image, and video files at the same time. We recommend using Timeline mode. In WeVideo, there are three main parts of your screen. The timeline is the bottom box. You'll put your video together here. The box on the top right is a preview window that lets you watch your video as you work on it by pressing the play button. When you click on the media button, the box on the top left shows all of the files that you have put into WeVideo. Put all of your files into WeVideo by clicking on the Upload Media button, the green arrow at the top of your screen. Click on the appropriate button to add files from your computer or social media accounts. Your voiceover should already be in WeVideo. You'll see tiny images of all your photos and video clips, as well as drawings of sound waves that represent your audio files. Each image will show the file's name and the length of the video and sound files. Begin creating your video by clicking on your voiceover file and dragging it into the bottom box. Then drag your pictures the same way and put them on top of the voiceover so that they will appear on screen as your audio plays. When two or more files are stacked on top of one another, such as your voiceover and picture files, they will play at the same time. Next, arrange all of your pictures on the timeline in the order you want them to appear on screen. When you're done arranging your photos, you will see that your voiceover file is still much longer than your photos. That means that your pictures will finish playing before the end of your voiceover. To fix this, adjust each picture so that it stays on screen longer. Adjust each picture individually by clicking on the edge of its thumbnail image and dragging it. In your timeline, a file that looks like a long box plays for more time than a file that is a shorter box. A pop-up window shows how many seconds the picture will play on screen. Adjusting your photos will take a while, but it is an important step. Remember that the picture should match what you are talking about in your voiceover, so press play to preview your changes in the preview window and make adjustments. Keep making changes until the pictures appear on screen the entire time that your voiceover is playing. Once this step is done, you've made a video. But there are still a few simple things you can add to your video to improve its quality before you finish. You can edit your photos to add effects and movement. Double click on your photo and WeVideo will open an editing menu. Some of the effects include changing your photo size and position. You can also use the Animations tab to make the camera zoom in or out on your image. Select a starting and ending point. You can preview the effect by pressing the Play button in the preview window. When you're finished, press the Done Editing button to confirm your changes. If you want words to appear on screen, click the Text button at the top of your screen and choose a template. Drag the one you want into your timeline and put it where you want it to play. If you need to make a credit screen to identify photos from Creative Commons or from someone you know, you should put the screen at the end of your video. Double-click on the screen to open an editing menu. Write the text you want to see and adjust its size and style. Press the Done Editing button to confirm your changes. If you want to add background music, drag your music file into the timeline and put it under your voiceover so that the files play at the same time. Adjust the volume of your music so that it does not drown out your voiceover. If you have questions while editing, you can watch the Immigrant Stories tutorial videos by clicking the Tutorial Videos button at the top of your screen. To finish your video, press the Finish button and WeVideo will create your video file. You can download your video and return to the Immigrant Stories website. Congratulations! You've made a video! Consider sharing it with the Immigrant Stories project by filling out this form. And remember to download a copy of the file to share with family and friends.